Well, good day, good morning, and welcome to the channel. As you can see, I'm out in the field and I'm surrounded by fog. So I've got up nice and early. I've come to my favorite Winton wetlands. And the reason I'm here is I've got a, another new lens. I've actually picked up the Olympus 300 F4. I got it secondhand for a really good price. I've always wanted this lens after trying my mate Brian's and I've got it. And this is my very first session with the lens. So I'm hoping just to try it out, see what we can get. I'm hoping for bird and flight, to be honest, but Currently, as you can see, <laughs> we're surrounded by fog, which makes it extremely difficult for bird photography. So the, we were hoping that the sun was going to come up, we'd get some colour, but it doesn't appear that way. However, we'll make, try and make the most of it, and we'll see if we can't get some interesting shots. So image quality takes a massive hit in the fog, and it's really difficult to get any good shots. The only sort of shots you can get are sort of habitat or moody sort of shots, so that's what I'm trying to do. At the moment, I've got a heron on a log but I'm not convinced with the actual shape of the log. Um, I don't like the big wooden bit coming into the left. So I'm just struggling a little bit to find any shots. So I've finally spotted a composition because we're finally getting some sun coming up and there's a heron and it's backlit and it's sitting on this branch and it's framed by the two branches. So it's just sitting there and there's nothing too distracting. Purposely underexposing this because I want it to be quite dark. It's just the, more the shapes that I like than anything. Um, so I'm not sure if that'll work, but at least that's one in the can. So we're definitely getting some nicer, interesting colour now. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if, uh, hopefully I've picked that up. We just had a, I think it was a whole heap of cormorants that were just flying. Oh, there's some more of it. So I'm just tracking these cormorants as they fly. And uh, flying all around the place. I think they're looking for somewhere to roost. So I'm using a shutter speed of 1600th of a second to try and keep that shutter speed up so we can freeze the action. There's quite a lot of birds over here. Look at that fog on the mountain over here. I think the quality of this light is just incredible. I don't know if you can see, but on these mountains over here, on this hill over here, we've got incredible light. So on this hill up here, we've got some crazy light and I'm just, it looks incredible. What a difference, the, <laughs> the sun just makes such a difference. birds all around, you can hear them, the sun's coming up, we've got that anticipation of what's ahead. So we've got the sun coming up in between these branches, <laughs> turning out to be a bit of a landscape um, <laughs> shot. But that is pretty interesting, I must admit. Definitely been rewarded with some absolutely stunning light at the moment. That's what it's all about, just taking it all in and just enjoying and trying to make the conversation. It's kind of crazy and I, I do feel the pressure to try and get the shots for this video. And uh, I know we're wildlife, but I just had to take those landscape shots. Um, <laughs> the light is just incredible. And I know I should be photographing wildlife, but I'm seeing trees. Why am I getting excited by trees? It's a bit of a concern. I'm getting excited by trees. <laughs> I can see a tree here and it's got fog. It's got color. I think the framing's okay. But I'm obviously shooting with a 300 millimeter lens, which has a field of view of 600 mil. So <laughs> I'm trying to do landscapes with a 600 millimeter field of view, which is tricky, but clearly, 
hopefully it can be done. It's just that fog and the mist, it just makes it, doesn't it? And the light, some birds flying around, if I can get them on that. If we can get them on that tree, that would be, oh, there's a car coming. Oh, there we go, birds, birds, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> We've got some birds, there's a car coming. We've got to get off the road. All right, <laughs> we didn't get run over, so that's a bonus. <laughs> We've got birds, we've got light. <laughs> oh. So I've got this composition with these trees and I love it, and just waiting for some birds to go past, and we got some birds flying past, which is cool. Hopefully that works out. Just awesome. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things, we had all that fog, and I was thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get any shots. It's disappointing, and then the sun comes up and everything changes. It's just, you just have to get out there, don't you? You just have to get up early. You've gotta put in the time, and if you put in the time, sometimes you just get lucky. Oh, it's just, it's just amazing. Honestly, that nature can be this beautiful. It's just incredible. So I think I've had quite a bit of excitement with the sun coming up. Now, because the sun's up, I can probably start concentrating on a bit of bird and flight, go handheld and see what we can get. Oh, we've got this grebe coming towards us. <laughs> Checking me out. Hello, mate. How good is this? How amazing is this? We've got all these grebes, we've got Australasian grebes and hoary-headed grebes feeding at this outlet because this water's running through. It's obviously a lot of food here and so the birds are constantly diving and I'm using Pro Capture to try and freeze the moment when the birds go into the water and I'm shooting at one two thousandths of a second, one sixteen hundredth of a second to try and freeze that action. Just amazing. Very lucky to have this happening at the moment and be here. All right. You're not wrong. Oh, here comes one flying.
Uh, the sun's coming over my shoulder and there's some great egrets and there's a few of them here and they're fighting and they're flying and they're fighting and I've just spent the last 10 minutes just photographing them as they're doing that and I have to say that autofocus, the bird and flight capability of this OM1 is exceptional. It picks up the subject so quickly. It's been an amazing morning, honestly, it's, it's so much fun and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this lens, that's for sure. Alright, so the fog has well and truly set in. Um, which has put a bit of a dampener on things. We're just waiting and hoping that the fog will lift. So we'll just have to enjoy the uh, serenity of the, <laughs> the birds in the location until that uh, fog lifts, if it does. All right, so that sort of brings our session to an end. We waited, but the fog just hasn't cleared. Um, so we're gonna call it quits. We've had an amazing morning, taken so many wonderful shots. You've seen them. I haven't seen them yet, so I'm excited to get home and check them. But a really good morning and the lens performed extremely well. I love the autofocus of the Olympus for bird and flight. It's really, really cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to continuing to use it. I will do a review on this lens in the future and the 100-400 and the OM1. I just want to get out into the field a few more times and just use it because I like to use the gear before I review it. So um, a cool morning. Oh. can't stop taking photos. <laughs> I try to do the outro and I see a bird and I just get sidetracked so. All right, all right well if you enjoyed the video obviously give it that thumbs up. If you want to support the channel consider becoming a member for the cost of less than a coffee per month. You can help me continue making this content. You get access to the calendar the 2023 calendar and you get a cool little emoji next to your name when you're in the comments section so um, I hope you enjoyed the video happy birding take care see you in the next one